X chart is the first one and most simple SQC trend you can think of. We're going to actually plot each individual against the control limits. From a pie stand point of view, there is no sampling at all. Every archive data making it to the archive subsystem will be plotted over the period of time which is defined in 270 cells. So in practice, we're going to use this chart in two situations. Whenever we have discrete manufacturing and you want to actually assess the quality of each and every product along the line, so you need to plot all of them. And essentially, whenever we have like very few observation only taken from the distribution, from the population, so you also need to take all those individual value to get as much data as possible. There is no way you can actually aggregate the data because sampling will be too 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 small and or you would wait too long to get actually meaningful value in your SQC trend. So you need to get any new value has to be plotted and compare with each other and against the control limits. Individual charts, X chart can also be used to have specific value being plotted against also specific control limits. If you're talking about a number of defect or defective unit produced by the process, so if you take like a piece of equipment and measure the num number of defects on that piece of equipment that could range maybe from 1 to or up to 10 different defects or faulty parts on the same piece of equipment, this total number of defects could be the one being traded on a control chart and then you would use individuals because you wouldn't link any number of defects from one specific piece of hardware with the next one. You need to see them separately. P-chart is essentially the same information but turned into a percentage of over the total number of possible defects on a piece of equipment. So in this case we are really trying to trend a percentage and each percentage for every uh, piece of equipment being made will be plotted and against the control limits. And np chart is kind of a combination between the two because when the number of def default on one piece of equipment is like unlimited then you need to to change this number and make it more meaningful so you can actually combine the percentage and the number of defects to get a more meaningful number to be plotted into the control chart. So we'll talk about those specific chart uh, during the section on the automation for XQC because they're not natively supported by the SQC add-in trend in process book. Now for every chart which is not an individual chart, a next chart, there is a pre-sampling being done before actually trending the data into the SQC trend. If you look at those trends, you see that here the fixed sampling, we're going to take four sample out of the time series to actually build one single sample, one single observation is going to be plotted into the SQC trend. Then we're going to take the next four ones and get a new observation and as an aggregate of the four initial observation from our distribution. And then we're going to get to the th next fourth one and get a third aggregate as a mean, an average, or range, or deviation and plot it against the limit and the other calculated value. So we will differentiate between fixed sampling where you have to complete a sample before getting the data for the next sample and moving sampling when you actually reuse part of the initial observation over multiple samples.